Hello and warm greetings. Time for Brazil with English news from Harshit Global Network at this time. This is Safi Ayan. Reporters Without Borders has filed a complaint with the International Criminal Court following the deaths of 11 journalists in Afghanistan last year for investigating these crimes. The complaint was sent by Reporters Without Borders to Fado Venezuela, the prosecutor of the World Criminal Court, who was asked to investigate crimes against journalists in Afghanistan last year. The complaint states that during the past year, 11 journalists in Afghanistan, including Shafiq Allah Zabi and Mirwahid Shah Amiri, two employees of Hershey Television and Radio Network, had died. More in reports. Afghan media outlets have expressed concern that the matter of journalists has not been investigated. The failure to investigate the journalist has caused serious challenges to the media in the country, and even the families of journalists have questioned the work of the government in this regard, said Nai, a supporter of Afghanistan Open Media in Afghanistan. But security officials say they are investigating the matter of journalists and the rest a number of the people in connection with the incident. On the 10th of June at 4 p.m., a car carrying the staff of Hershey TV located in Kabul was targeted by a road sign mine at the traffic intersection in the 4th Security District of Kabul. In this attack, two people involved, Mir Wahid Shah Amiri, a journalist, and Shafiqullah Zabi, the TV's technical staff, were killed, and seven others were injured. Let me first say this attack on the girls' school yesterday uh, in the um, predominantly uh, in the in the in the district predominantly inhabited by by Hazaras was a clear was a clear a terrible violation of all laws of humanity, international law, Afghan law, and it's just a very serious crime. And we're all shocked and appalled by that. No religion, no civilization, no culture, no other uh, rules will target children. So whoever was uh, against that, they will uh, bear the consequences, you know, morally, legally, um, and... Uh Last year, a number of other journalists and reporters were also targeted. Yamas Yawash in Kabul, Rahmatullah Nekzat in Ghazni, Malala Maiwand in Ingerhor, Ilyas Dai in Helman, and a number of other journalists in the country have been targeted. My supporting open media in Afghanistan say that the failure to investigate the matter of journalists has made reporting a serious challenge. خاموش ساختن صدای مینا خیری صدای رسای مردم افغانستان صدای نسل جوان افغانستان صدای انسانیت صدای اعتدال صدای برابری خاموش نمیشه در فی چند ماه گذشته بیش از Nearly 11 journalists have been killed and more than 40 others injured by unidentified gunmen in the past year. According to NAI, Afghanistan's free media support body, media support agencies and victims of families now expect the government to seriously investigate the matter cases of journalists. <laughs> Recently, Ariana News reporter Mina Khairi and her mother were killed in a bomb blast in Kabul on Thursday evening. Eight other civilians were killed and ten others were injured in the blast. Some relatives, family members, colleagues and media outlets have accused the government of neglecting journalists, saying this is the tenth journalist to be killed in the last 
few months. Mina Khairi was 23 years old and has worked with Ariana News in various fields for five years. The killing of Mina Khairi, a presenter of Ariana News, has also provoked reactions. President Asha Afghani condemning the incident and saying that terrorists should know that by increasing violence and creating fear among people get nothing but hatred and pessimism. By continuation of this situation and targeting of the journalists and reporters in Afghanistan and in different provinces and areas, the future of the media and reporters and freedom of expression are under question and under serious threat. Reporter Safi Ayan, Khurshid TV. Thank you. That was the brief. Take care. Bye.